If we're adding a back or hair light to a portrait, we need to really control the light. I've set this light up behind our model Ashley, but it's fitted with a wide angle reflector. As you can see, the light on the back of my subject looks great, but it's also lighting the background and it's streaming straight into the camera lens. Not really acceptable, I think you'll agree. This is the snoot. It's a conical shaped reflector that simply fits to the front of my Elinchrom head. It concentrates the light down through the small opening at the front. No light can come out sideways. If I point the light at the background, you can see the effect it has. A very controlled pool of light. The snoot gives a high contrast light with a sharp edge. So like this, it's not so good for lighting a background. If we want to use it like this, we can add a honeycomb grid to the end of the snoot, which softens the edge and also gives a much more even pool of light. We can now make a much more interesting background with this vignette type effect. As a hair light, it works well without the grid, so I've turned it around, and you can see the effect. For natural looking light, I'm placing it at the same side as my main light, so that all the light is coming from the same direction. The light is falling over the back of Ashley's hair and onto her shoulders. Watch out for light from the snoot catching the end of the nose, as it will give a big highlight and make anyone's nose look enormous. As Ashley is blonde, we have to be very careful not to overexpose her hair, and would therefore probably use the same exposure here as the main light. For mid-toned hair, I would use around half a stop more. For very thick, dark hair, we could even go up to a stop more, as dark hair absorbs more light. The Elinchrom snoot is supplied complete with a honeycomb grid, and it's a great accessory to add to your kit. I'm Chris Burfoot. Thanks for watching.